Hi, it's Carol from BookReporter.com, and I'm here to share what you're going to see on the site on Friday, January 31st. Yes, January zip by, but we have a great lineup for you. First, from Lisa Gardner, we've got When You See Me. What we have here is she pairs up two of her characters that everyone knows, Kimberly Quincy and Dee Dee Warren. And who's the third person in their troika to try to solve the crime this time? A woman who's a victim who is now an Avenger. So you always know with Lisa, it's going to be a really, really, really tight, written, suspense thriller. Uh, sometimes you're really not going to be able to guess what's going to go on right until the very end. She's good at dropping lots of little red herrings, but ooh, there's usually a surprise. So here we've got this for you. From Greg Hurwitz, we've got Into the Fire, his latest Orphan X novel. Yes, we all know I have a huge crush on Evan Smoke, and I've been listening to this on audio because it's narrated by Scott Brick. And the entire time I was driving down to Baltimore and then back up to Philly, the adventures of which I will be sharing in the newsletter this week, uh, I was listening to this. The uh, narration is absolutely terrific. And I think that now as I read on the pages, I'm hearing Scott's voice in my head, and it's just so well done. Once again, Evan's got himself... Mm, a couple of clients that he's trying to help out. He has a unique way of finding the people that he's going to help. What he has is people pay it forward. Those who have helped him before are basically given his phone number and said, you can really give this to anyone you need who you find that needs help. And so when he answers the call, he always knows that it's someone that has been passed along to him, sort of verified for by one of the previous victims that he's helped out. Once again, there's lots of twists and turns. He's on the run, and the action is just super amped up and terrific. Next, we've got When We Were Vikings. Uh, this is by Andrew David McDonald. I think I talked about this last week because it was also one of our uh, new release spotlight titles. What we've got here is this young woman who's on the fetal alcohol syndrome. She, her mom drank too much before she was born, and as a result, she's got some definite candy caps. But by the same token, she's also very adept at understanding people in ways that mm, you usually don't see. She can feel for a situation. She can see what's going on, but perhaps not making all the right judgment calls along the way, but trying with all heart to get herself in the right direction. She's got a brother who's caretaking her, terrible situation that's gone on with her parents, and really what she tr lives by is when we were Vikings, the Viking rules. The Viking rules are what she lives her entire life by. And it's really fun to see like what she is applying to try to get her life to work out for her and for her brother, who gets himself in some really nasty scrapes, but how she sees those scrapes and how she wants him to get out of it. It's a long story about love as well as mm, just exactly how special someone can be. High Fire by Owen Kofler. Now, Owen Kofler is somebody that I know really, really well because my children absolutely loved his books, the Artemis Fowl series, when they were growing up. I remember taking Corey to one of his events and he was telling kids all kinds of tricks that they could do around the house. And I told him that those ideas stayed at the event, that Owen was just making them up for there and he was not to be trying these at home. One did some, talked about something about dropping a brick in the toilet and then it would make like a volcano. Needless to say, I did not want this to happen. So what we have in this book is... Look how pretty beautiful this is. We've got a flash dance loving dragon. And yes, you've heard that right, flash dance, who lives an isolated life in the bayous of Louisiana and the raucous inventions that ensue when he crosses paths with a 15-year-old troublemaker on the run from a crooked sheriff. You know in his hands, this is going to be one absolutely crazy story and lots of fun. For those who grew up reading Artemis Fowl, here's an adult book coming from one of your favorite authors. Talked about this book last week. It's JFK and Mary Meyer by Jesse Cornbooth, who's the co-founder of Book Reporter. Um, here we've got a review that's going to run this week. Really like this book because what it is is a diary. The whole book is written like a diary. And Jesse chimes in with footnotes down below that are his explanation for the story. So something very different to be taking a look at. A lot has come out in the past week about this possible murder of Mary Meyer. What did happen to her? We know she was killed. We know she was shot and killed. But there have been some, some stories that have broken in the last couple of weeks about this. I'll be sharing those with you in the newsletter as well on Friday. We'll have my bets on commentary about American Dirt by Janine Cummins, a book that I read back in June has stayed with me. I was totally looking forward to sharing it with you. And it's not just because there's turquoise on the cover. So looking forward to this one. And next up, we've got our Valentine's promotion 
books to fall in love with. You can enter to win five copies of the books that we're giving away this year. And I'm going to give you a quick look and see what the books are. The first is The Girl He Used to Know. This was one of my bets on selections uh, last year. It's out in paperback. Then we've got Cecilia Hearn, Postscripts. This is going to be coming out February 11th. We've got The Woman in Black, which is also out in February. And Grown Ups. So you're going to get to read an advanced copy of this. It's not out in stores till May. And a book I'm crazy about that I read in advance, really early advanced copy of. It's going to be a bets on. It's The End of the Day by Bill Clegg. This will be out on June 2nd. So we've got some new releases and we've got some upcoming books, both as part of this giveaway. So looking forward to seeing you all go out and enter that. And what will I be sharing? Do you remember in the summer, I always complain that the week of Book Expo, the peonies bloom at my house? Well, this week, the amaryllis that my mother gave me, which is completely amazing, bloomed while I was away at Winter Institute in ALA. Kind of like the last thing I wanted. So I've got this beautiful flower and I'll be sharing it with you. Thank you so much. See you on Friday. Look forward to having you read the newsletter.